Earlier this month, News 4 aired a story on the fact that there has not been any further reports on the investigative team that arrived here late November of last year to assist the Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force on solving unsolved crimes. Four members of the London Metropolitan Police investigative team, along with their assistant commissioner, Sue Akers, arrived with that mandate and expressed confidence in their job of helping to solve crimes and providing tips to strengthen our local police force. At the advisory council meeting yesterday, members of the media asked for an update on that matter. Well, I haven't seen any uh, any report that they've uh, that they've produced. I think you know they've uh, they uh, they had a productive time here looking uh, at a number of uh, of, uh, of crimes. I mean, they weren't, so to speak, operationally uh, in, uh, in involved uh, as sort of policemen on the on the ground, so to speak. Uh, but I think as a result of their uh, of their uh, uh, visit, a number of uh, um, of suggestions, proposals of how to uh, to uh, uh, improve the uh, you know, sort of arrangements that currently uh, exist in that uh, part of the uh, of the police here come uh, come forward. I hope that we'll be able to have a, uh, a follow up in the not uh, in the not too distant uh, uh, future, and we're in discussion with the uh, with London about that. As His Excellency stated, an official report from the group on their progress has not been released. His Excellency the Governor went on to say that they may have not solved any unsolved crimes, but they did indeed provide tips to police officials and detectives here on Leeds to follow. Well, I think, I think what, uh, what they were looking at in there was more a question of, of, of seeing you know, how, the, uh, uh, how those, uh, uh, those murders were being investigated and uh, you know, suggesting you know, leads that should be followed up, for example, or procedurally, you know, how, how better to set about trying to, uh, trying to resolve them. The team's time here was funded by the FCO, according to His Excellency. They spent two weeks in the Turks and Caicos Islands, and during their press meet, they explained that they had over 50 years of combined experience in the different investigative fields. But did they come in vain, or did they indeed accomplish what they set out to do? We'll just have to wait on the official report from the team to find out. For WIV4 News, I'm Amanda Miller.